this is Kaylee Gonzalez. I'm with MLC CAD Systems and today's topic of discussion is going to be creating animations inside of SolidWorks Composer and creating compound motion using the animation library. So let's get started. Inside of Composer, I already have a file set up and ready to go. Inside of my Composer file, I have one view. Inside of this view, I've set my camera, my textures, my appearances, my rendering modes, lighting, all of that information I've set inside of this view. The reason why I've done that is because when I go into my animation, you can see how the appearance is different, but I can drag and drop my view into zero time to capture and set all of my keys in my animation. This is a very fast and simple way to get started with animations. From here, what we want to do is have compound motion. We want the pin in this vice grip to have both translation and rotation to, to show as if this is actually um, being screwed shut. And we want the plates of the vice to also have translation. If I go into my animation library, I have the ability that I can choose my motion group as well as the screw type of animation. I can choose if I want my component to flash before the animation starts. That's what the flash time is. So from 0 to 1, I'm going to have my component flash a green color. It's going to flash a total of three times. Under the translate, I'm going to choose from 1 to 10 seconds for the translation to occur. Now the axis is giving me a negative 1. That is the actual direction of the translation, so it's going to be in the negative z direction. And that's based on what my compass is actually providing for us. The distance is going to be 75.3, so that's going to completely close this vise. For the rotate, I'm going to have this be the exact same time. So from 1 to 10 seconds, I also want the pin to rotate. So I can choose an angle of 360 degrees. That's actually just one rotation. What that means is if I type in 3600, that's actually going to be a total of 10 rotations. So that's a simple way that we can determine how many rotations we want our component to go through. In the bottom right hand corner in the animation library, we have an overview of what this compound motion is going to look like. So it gives us a visual representation of the flash, the translate, and the rotate. Once I have everything set up in my animation library, I need to choose the actor and composer that I want this to apply to. I can then click create and it's going to put all of this information automatically in my, my time bar. Now, we only apply this to that particular pin. These portions I'm highlighting in the vise, I also want to translate so it looks like it's being shut at the same time. But, 0 to 1 seconds is a flash, which means I don't want these to move from 0 to 1 second. I'm going to filter by only those highlighted objects so that I know that only the, the keys are going to be relative to what I've selected. After I move my time bar, I'm going to copy the location key from 0 to 1 second. That's an easy way to make sure there's going to be no motion between 0 and 1 second. If I move my time bar over to 10 seconds, I can then go into a translate mode and choose my z-axis. Over on the left, type in negative 75.3, and this is going to give the illusion as if this vice is closing. What we'll be able to see is a separate location key at 10 seconds. If we run this, we now can see the translation and the rotation on the three components that I've actually selected. So we're able to add some compound motion in a really short amount of time. What we can do next is take this a step further. Perhaps we also want to change the camera to make this also look like it's rotating throughout the course of the animation. So I'm going to rotate this in my graphics area, recenter it, and I'm going to make sure I'm at 10 seconds and that all of my filters are going to be clear. So I want this to apply to all of these items. And I'm going to set a camera key. This camera key is going to give us this new location at 10 seconds. So if we run this animation, we can see how we have rotation, translation, and the camera is also sweeping through the graphics area to give me a really good preview of what this is going to look like for my product. Once we have this, we have a very simple animation done with compound motion. I can go into my workshop and save this as an MP4 file. 
I hope this was able to really get you going in creating animations in Composer, showing you a bit of the timeline, and also being able to utilize some simple functionality to create compound motion. Thank you for your time, and I hope you enjoy your animations. Thanks. Bye.